Sewing is tight, but the hole punch is not super straight. I want to thank a subscriber, Greg, who sent me these two wallets to review. This is from Canopy Leather. I've got two models here. These are slim wallets, and well, there's 12 colors with a choice of two colors, thread options and monogramming. I also have a shell cordovan version right here. Uh, these are just a uh, really, I love shell. So, hmm, this smells pretty good. As you can see, we start at the back. And right here we have a card slot or a slit. You can tell it just uh, works with cards that you'd put or cash here in the back. And of course we have a full slot right here at the top. If we come to the front, we have the security flap. And on the interior, we have two internal card slots. We have one here. This is great for quick access or for cash, which you can fold and put in here. And then for long-term storage or archive cards, you can put right in here. I just love this uh, flesh side. Looks really good. This wallet measures four by three by 0.4 and it weighs 40 grams or 1.4 ounces. Now we've seen similar wallets, but this one does have some enhanced usability compared to the others. Company recommends up to eight cards and up to 15 notes. This is designed and made in the United States. It uses a Ritza Tiger thread, which is a wax polyester thread, uh, very strong. And the Italian leather from several tanneries include the Wapier, Badalassi, and La Brectagna. Now on the burnishing, we're talking about Obanoff's heavy duty LP. This beeswax preservative will uh, naturally waterproof condition and soften the leather for, leather for the first use. Uh, sorry, this is actually that treatment is with this wallet right here. So he treats the leather, uh, that's shell, and so you know that is what it is. And it just provides a natural waterproof capability to it and conditioning softens it for first use, which is really nice. It helps reduce the time to break it in. Now the burnishing I think is really nice here. You can get a good look on both of these wallets. Just shiny enough. I do like a shinier burnishing on the edges. Sewing is tight, but the hole punch is not super straight. You can see how just wanders just ever so slightly. It's uh, about the same on here, actually much better over here. Now, we uh, see just ever so slightly little holes here in the edges, which are anti-tear. I think they could be a little larger to help prevent. You saw with some of the cards that we, were, we had coming in here, for example, that it'll have a tendency to pull on this leather. You can see that, and that's why the little holes we see on both sides of slits in wallets is super important to prevent that from happening. Price, this is a full shell, and so this is $80. But we have other options, including this one, which is the veggie full is $35, $45 for a part shell, part veggie, and then as I mentioned, $80 for the full share. Shell, very reasonable if you ask me, and done very well for the price. And from a usability perspective, uh, it's pretty smooth. Accessibility to the content is easy. Uh, works with US and similar taller, tall currencies like this, I mean, which are not very tall, uh, to be able to fit in here. And if you like have taller currencies or want something that's a little bit wider, you can request that. And then all the currencies work without any problems. Uh, the logo is a bit large for my liking, but you can request no logo. Uh, you can also request a left-handed version. So all this is reversed depending on which handedness you are. I'd have to say, I do like the American flag in the back. I like the design elements, which do provide a different usability experience than some of the other walls we've seen. Now onto the final score. For quality of four, it would be a five, but the sewing line is a little bit wonky. Price a four, excellent price for what you're getting. Uh, features a four, several access options to carry all kinds of items. And usability of four, perception of three. That gives us a pretty good score, 3.9 out of five. If you like this review, then watch this one next. I always refer to this one right over here because that's where I place the box. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.